Welcome to Face in the Crowd. It is the show that celebrates exceptional entrepreneurs. Now today we meet Tabita Malinga. She is making waves with her mobile spa business. I am your host, Diesel Wilson. Welcome to the show. My name is Tabita Malinga. I'm the founder and CEO of Tabby Mobile Spa. Tabby Mobile Spa is a mobile spa business that brings spa treatments into the comfort of your own location of preference, be it in your own home, your office environment, or any other location of preference. Our treatments are as follows. We offer full body massages. We offer facial treatments. We offer manicures, pedicures, makeup, um, we host pamper parties, bridal showers, baby showers, and we have recently launched our kitty spa range. Well, we are chatting to founder and owner of Tabi Mobile Spa, Ms. Tabita Malinga. Thank you for making time for us to chat today. You're welcome. Tabita, where did Tabi Mobile Spa all begin? How did this concept come about? Um, first of all, I always have to emphasize that Tabby Mobile Spa is my fourth business attempt. It has failed the first time, mm. the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and here it is today, mm. the fifth time. The first time I started off from the boot of my car where I would do express treatments for friends and relatives, you know, a manicure here and there. Yes. And at the time, I still had my full-time job. The second time I started again, I think two years later, I did the same thing, and then I stopped. The third time, I rented out um, a little corner inside a hair salon, mm -hmm. but it was just a nail bar, so I just did nails, manicures and pedicures, and I still had my job. The fourth time, it was in Johannesburg, in an area called Maboning. Mm. Then I had quit my job completely and I just wanted to be an entrepreneur. It did very well, but because there was no learning and experience behind what it really means to be an entrepreneur, mm. it failed again. The fifth time, this was now two years ago. Mm where Tabi Mobile Spa started. I, I started with incubation. I did my learning and guiding through the Shell Live Wire program. Mm. Um, I'm actually graduating this month, doing my third year with them. So I must add that this is the reason why I managed to sustain this business until now, the fifth time around. Um, so you mentioned that you failed previously four times. Obviously, each time you started, you started on a new level. Absolutely. Which gave you more experience yes. and more exposure yes. um, as you underwent that. But what do you think has been the success to date of you not um, admitting to failure, but bouncing back bigger and stronger until Tavi Mobile Spa? I mean, it's two years in the running and it's successfully running for that matter. I think it's the mindset more than anything. Mm -hmm. It's the mindset, it's the drive, it's the resilient, the resilience, the commitment, you know, the dedication, the acknowledging that it's going to be a rocky road, but looking back, it's not an option. Mm. I think when I started thinking in that manner, I knew that this is going to be, an, to be a success because I refused to look back. Mm. I refuse to admit and say it's hard and I can't. Yeah. So I can't does not exist in my world anymore. So you starting the Shelf Live Wire program, I mean, how did you find out about that and why the decision to go, uh, go in that route for that matter? I was looking for funding, some, someone that will help me to start up. So as I read more about the Shell Live Wire program, I realized that it had nothing to do with funds. I was disappointed, but I read up more and I saw incubation. Mm. 
Mm. I've only learned about the word incubation three years ago when I, when I built this relationship with Shell. So I did more research on the actual word. So I did my application. Literally a week later, Shell Livewire replied and they said, okay, please come through for an interview. There were 62 candidates when I started. So there was an elimination process where from the 62, there was 30. Because they're looking for viable business ideas, business ideas that are sustainable, mm. business ideas that will fit in with Shell, business ideas that will contribute to the growth of the economy, you know. So then it was 30, very strenuous. And then it was 15. For me, 15 was the worst because I ended up in hospital. The amount of pressure and stress, you know, and, stress and the, ex the anxiety, you know, I've got children, I still need to do homework, I still need to be a mother, I still need to go to race cop. And at the time we used to have classes, I think three times a week. Mm. The amount of work, the assignments, you know, sometimes I look back and I become filled with emotions because sometimes I don't know how I made it here. Mm. I think more than anything, you need to have a very firm and strong support system. I honestly, and I know it sounds so cliched when people say if it wasn't for my mother, but if it wasn't for that woman, I don't think TMS would be where it is today because mm -hmm. she really helped me. My older sister as well, you know, they started sharing my vision and I think that was so important and it still is. They knew what I wanted and they saw it. Mm. Although it was not physically there, but every time I spoke about it, they saw the passion in my, in my eyes. And they were with me throughout until I went to where there was 12 of us. So from the 12th, they were looking for the final three. And I remember when I went to Race Corp to do my final pitch for the final three. It was so hard. I was shaking. I even forgot the name of my company that day. <laughs> So I, I pushed my ideas to real investors at mm. that point. Now they had brought in real investors from various companies. I remember Shell was one of them. And then they were looking for the final two. The final two became myself and a guy called Sachaba Mukhedi. So here I am today, um, two and a half years later, Tabi Mabaspa is still standing operating, profitable, has employed over seven therapists. We have a spa coordinator. We have a laundry lady. I mean, for me, that is just so humbling. It's ironic that you work in a spa which offers, you know, resources and a space to allow people to breathe. And you, during the process, you know, of establishing this was you were you were basically falling apart. How do you think that process helped to solidify the message you aim to impart through the business you have come to establish? For me it, it is just so simple. The word that always stands out for me, it's sacrifice. And I know it's crazy to say I sacrificed my health in the process of building TMAs. And and I did. I had to. Mm. I, 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 I went through so much emotionally. My children too, as small as they are, you can go to my five-year-old right now and ask him anything about TMS and he will tell you. He already knew the days of the week where I don't sleep and I'm not here, I'm at race cop. Yeah. So it, 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 it's, it's all about sacrificing. And, and I'm a true believer of of, 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 of sacrificing. Sometimes in life, you need to let go of something to gain something. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I let go of my comforts. I let go of my friends, which is, it's, it, it can be a sensitive topic for me because these are people that I grew up with. These are people that I thought I would still be with them You're today. You're familiar with them. You know, but, but this journey has acted like a sieve in my life. There's things that stayed on the surface and they, they, they are the things that had to fall through. Yes. And every day I would watch some of those things. Some were my cars. You know, I couldn't afford them anymore. I had to let them go. Friends that were no longer adding value into my life. 
I had to let them go. Family, there's some relatives who thought, are you crazy? Mm -hmm. Leaving your comfortable job, you have two small children, you're a single mom, how are you gonna do this? You know, so it has been a process. It has been indeed a journey for me. And so what does Tabi Mobile Spa offer to its clients? This is the exciting part. Um, we offer various spa treatments. In fact, we offer all spa treatments except for the wet treatments, which are your jacuzzis and your wraps and so forth, obviously because of the lack of facilities right now to accommodate such treatments. But we offer your manicures, your pedicures, your massage treatments, your specialized facials. And our USP, our unique selling point is the fact that we offer all of this in the comfort of your own home. We offer all of this in the comfort of your own office environment. So we, we save you the time. I think for me, it's all about the convenience that comes with the service. We offer mobile spa treatments um, for bridal showers, for uh, corporate wellness days. Um, we are now venturing into football teams. We are in the process of securing, securing a contract with Sundowns because we want to offer them a package whereby we can do uh, pre and post massage, sports massage treatment before obviously they go yeah. to play and so forth. So we are growing very fast. Mm -hmm and it, it is an incredible feeling. And you're not doing this alone. You, as you mentioned, you've got quite a support structure at work. So we caught up with a few colleagues and people who work with you. This is what they had to say. Hi, I'm Smangele Mjali. I'm a senior therapist at Tabi Mobile Spa. Hi, my name is Zanele Ndala. I work as a therapist at Tabi Mobile Spa. I've been working at Tabi Mobile Spa for a year now. Yes. So with working here, I've gained so many experiences, though I have my own qualifications. But Tabi used to inspire me a lot. I used to see her on social media. So that's when I approached her. It's been four months now since I've started working here. And then so far, it, it's amazing. It's really amazing. Okay, I met Tabi at the road and then I asked for her numbers and then because she inspired me a lot. Then she gave me and then I started applying. And then I came for an interview and then I've trained. Yes, and then yeah, things kept flowing and I get to know her and she's amazing. The thing that I love about Tabby is that she's a friendly person. And then whenever she speaks, uh, maybe whenever maybe she tries to correct something, maybe if we have done something wrong, she, she, she doesn't like just go around telling other people, she will just come straight to you and say that she did it. She's a straight person in, in short. She's, that's what I love about her. She's a straight person. When we're working, she's not my boss. She's my colleague. Yeah, she, she's like a sister. She's like a friend. Yes, yeah, so she's not my boss when we're working. But when you do something wrong, she confront you and tell you and then we let it go. Whenever she needs an advice, she asks. Like, she, she doesn't have this thing of being bossy. Like, you just feel at home when you're working here, as long as you're doing your job properly. She's a hard worker. And when she wants something, she go for it and she get it. I just wish that her business could grow bigger. But then... With the location thing, I don't wish that she could take this business to somewhere else. It's okay when it's here at Gasi, the luxury go Gasi, you know. So that's what I wish the business to grow big, 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 and big, so that there could be more employment for people. Yo, I wish like good things. I wish we she can get a bigger place so that like we can go booming you see like i wish like maybe like i wish good things you see 
It's time for a short break. When we return, we get a little bit more personal with Tubby. Stay tuned.